Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Starcase PS and in today's video I'll be showcasing a brand new amazing update that just got released on Stargaze. Now before we get into that, I just want to announce a really juicy giveaway. For the first commenter on today's video, you will be receiving three of these Imperial Hearts and then there will be three random winners. One of these random winners will win five of these godlike boxes and then the other two random winners will win ten of these godly slayer boxes each. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about two days. As always, they will be announced in my community discord, in the service discord and on my pinned comment. Links of discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure to join those. I'm gonna start off by showcasing the Galactic Zone or Colon Colon G Zone in game. This zone is being accessed if you have the Galactic Donator rank, which is $50 million in game. However, the $50 million in game is very easily to obtain, so you don't have to worry about like actually having to donate that amount of money. Now in here you do have three different types of titan, you have the attack titan as you can see right here. Now moving on from the attack titan you also have the armor titan and also the female titan as you can see right there. Now moving on from that besides those three types of titans there is also a world boss that you would be able to access and on top of that world boss they do have an AFK spot for mining on the left and the right side of the map so if we would be able to go to there real quick we should be able to find this as well as you can see it is nicely done with the afk text right there on the minimap as well you would be able to just mine these galactic rocks um, for some easy money while you are afk so right now I am claiming these 10 million dollar scrolls and if I claim this one I will be unlocking the new rank which is the demigod rank. This will give me a brand new symbol and also my name will be flashy which is super awesome. Brand new rank over 1 billion total donated which is absolutely insane. Anyways, moving on, I'm quickly going to redeem the Super KC Skip Scroll. This will allow me to teleport to Colon Colon Doom without, of course, having the requirements. Now, the requirements to go to Colon Colon Doom is 1k Obito, 1k Kakashi, 1k Madara, and also 1k Itachi. Um, so, it, it does have quite a lot of requirements in order to be able to go ahead and fight Doom. Um, pretty much you have the Baron of Hell right here as you can see from the drop table it does have quite a lot of really sick drops including the 1 million dollar scrolls that you would be able to obtain Supreme Clue scrolls, store boxes and a lot of other things including also Imperial Hearts which are of course really sick Now the main thing that you would want to get of course is the Doom Armor set as you can see right here now for this I'm going to drink the Divine Potion of Invulnerability or I would be able to die and I would not like to die when doing this boss. So let me go ahead. Uh, oh, this monster is... Okay, let's just equip the Emperor Bow real quick then. Right, so we are going to go ahead and fight the Baron of Hell right here real quick. So pretty much as I just mentioned, he would be able to drop the Doom Armor set which is really sick. Now, as I also just saw, you do have the magic or ranged requirement to be able to fight this and also a durability potion because this will actually be able to one bang you and this durability potion will make, will make it so that you won't be able to die. Now actually this boss works in different phases, as you can see after you complete phase 1 you will spawn 15 minions in total that you would be able to kill before you can go ahead and continue the fight. Also I believe that the second phase is only able to be done with magic instead of ranged and the first phase is only being able to be done with ranged so you do have to have both um, styles in your inventory whenever you come to fight this boss. Anyways let me go ahead and complete these minions real quick and then also go ahead and complete the fight and hopefully we can get ourselves a sick loot. Anyways, now that we just finished the kill, we got ourselves 1 million bulging tax bags and 14,000 seasonal keys. Unfortunately, no rare, but it is only one kill, so what can we say? We should be able to showcase this new armor set, of course, the Doom Guy armor set, together with a Doom shotgun, which is really sick. Let me also go ahead and unequip my, um, what's this called again, the other set that goes over it, the cosmetic overrides, because, of course, I do want to showcase the actual set and not this set right here. But as you can see right there, this is how the Doom set looks. It looks really sick, especially with the shotgun attached to it. That is absolutely amazing. Anyways, we've already checked the drop table of the Baron of Hell, but there is another NPC that I actually would like to uh, search for, and that is the Crash the Donation boss. 
Now this is of course a donation bot as it mentions in the title which will drop the 10 million dollar scrolls at a 1 in 5 rate. You can also get 7 1 million scrolls at a 1 in 5 rate which of course is absolutely amazing because this will go towards any donation rank that you would like to claim in game. On top of that it does have some other really amazing drops 750,000 seasonal keys, 35 million red keys, you have the godly keys, some more 10 million dollar scrolls as you can see you can get 3 for uh, and 1 drop at a 1 in 40 rate but moving down from that uh, on top of the other awesome drops that you would be able to get at the super rare rates you would be able to get eternal sword you you would be able to get 120 divine clue scrolls godlike boxes and so on which of course is absolutely amazing so moving on from that you actually have something really sick as well that has been added which of course is the baron of hell junior pet now this pet has the ability to help you out when upgrading this will assist it by 10 percent and the way that you would be able to obtain this is by creating it at the enchantment table right here at the home area if you go to the miscellaneous tab you'll find the baron of hell jr for this you would need the bearer's pet 15 sg coins and also 30 of these shiny diamonds of course with that um, you will be able to get yourself the enchantment scroll misc um, which will help you out to get a 100% success rate without the scroll it would be a 50% success rate which means that you would be uh, able to lose all of these items at a 1 and 2 rate but whenever you can create this pet it is super helpful when you are trying to upgrade certain items. As you can see from my inventory we have these cosmetic mystery boxes these actually got some new items in them which are those four faces you have the crying laughter face troll emoji face as you can see right there you also have the shitty emoji and the smile emoji which is super awesome you can go ahead and collect these from the cosmetic mystery boxes and then go ahead and equip them just for the fun. Now on top of that they added a bunch of new goodie bags starting off with the goodie bag for Super KC. I'm going to be opening 10 of each new goodie bag so let's go ahead and pick number 15 and I'm going to stick with number 15 throughout the 10 goodie bags that I will be opening up. As you can see the reward in general will already be really sick. Divine caskets right there, 100,000 legendary mystery boxes but the main loot that you obviously want to get from these goodie bags is right here if you can see it. The Super KC skip scroll because that will allow allow you to skip the um, kill count in order to go to Kong Kong Doom for example as I did earlier and I actually just managed to get it in those 10 boxes which is a 1 in 20 rate so we got super lucky on that not going to complain whatsoever anyways we have I think one more left yes let's go ahead and claim this one real quick as well and we finish up with some more of the seasonal keys and moving on from that we also have the limited edition goodie bag uh, or goodie box rather so let's go ahead and open this one I don't know what the rare loot from this one exactly is but there is a lot of really insane loots that you would be able to get from those including some of these 1 million dollar scrolls which i just managed to get my hands on godlike boxes imperial hearts a bunch of these other goodie bo uh, boxes supreme clue scrolls and so on so the loot from these will be absolutely amazing let's go ahead and finish off opening up the 10 of these that i actually have and in those 10 i got myself the ops hell goodie boxes as well and i got eight of them in total which is already super great we got ourselves 20 web store tokens eight hard crystals moving on from that we have three more to open we just got ourselves some more goodie boxes which are the icon of goddess goodie boxes we got ourselves 20 of these divine clue scrolls and to finish it off we got ourselves 20 more web store tokens now on top of those awesome goodie boxes we do have ourselves some other chests as well we have the treasure chest and also the eternal raid chest let's go ahead and start off with these treasure chests they do have this spinning interface so spin to become rich you have a massive chance of winning rare items and actually as you can see right there we just won ourselves a supreme mystery box from this which is a purple symbol I believe purple is more rare than these because you do see these coming around all the time and we almost or we are actually going to get ourselves these golden ones which are the eternal boats you so of course these treasure chests will almost guaranteed give you a really sick reward as you can see right there um, let's go ahead and open up the rest of those and hope that we can still manage to get ourselves some more con rewards actually I believe that the color that is lit up you will actually be able to get that color um, and the red ones are the ones that you won't be able to get but the rewards in general seem to be very um, similar in rarity or in the value that you would be able to get for the reward that you would get 
some more of these eternal boots you also my inventory got filled up with these um eternal crystals that i got from these but pretty much like the worst items that you would be able to get are godlike slayer uh, godly slayer boxes that's 40 shiny diamonds that we just got in one of these treasure chests which is insane anyways let's go ahead and continue we got ourselves a third pair of boots i would appreciate to get another piece instead of the boots but of course you can never complain about getting free stuff from those whatsoever and so far the most rare thing that we managed to get is these supreme slayer boxes especially since we got 160 in two drops which is absolutely insane and we are going to finish it off with some more of these godly slayer boxes so of course we are going to continue with the eternal rage chest which you would obviously be able to obtain from the eternal raid now these are just a one click open which make it a lot simpler so we got the dark one helmet we got a gula halo we got a the dark one gloves let's see what we can still get eternal warrior junior pets which is sick another halo there we got the dark one plate body back to back as well we got the boots then we also got the su uh, super bio halo and to finish it off we get ourselves another eternal warrior junior pet Anyways, moving on from that, there's another pet that they have added in, which is absolutely amazing, and that is the Golden AFK Jar Pet. If we go ahead and summon this, it looks super sick, as you can see right there. Now, this will actually help you out when AFKing. So, for example, if I were to do some of my college work and I want to AFK, I would take myself a pickaxe to this galactic rock right here, and then I would be able to AFK. Now, with this pet out, this would actually give me double the rate of obtaining my AFK ticket, so that is super sick, uh, which means that I would be making double the amount that I would be making without this pet while just AFKing right there. Now as you probably have seen throughout the whole video I have been equipping this maxed man armor set as a cosmetic overlay. This looks super awesome especially if I go ahead and equip this one real quick just to showcase it once again. It looks super clean but the reason why I was wearing it as an override and not as an actual set is because I had this full emperor armor set equipped which also looks absolutely amazing but this emperor set does have an additional benefit and that is this emperor dragon axe. Pretty much whenever you do have the full set equipped and you click transform on this Emperor Dragon Egg, you will actually go ahead and mount and fly on the Emperor Dragon which already looks super awesome especially with the set equipped. So that is another really awesome feature that Stargaze will have to offer with this update. Now one more thing that I want to showcase of the enchantment table is once again if we go to miscellaneous this diamond spade right here. So you would be able to get the golden spade from the AFK area then 15 of these SG coins, 50 shiny diamonds and also a clue burner. With this you would be able to try to create the diamond spade at a 50% rate. Once again if you have the enchantment uh, scroll miscellaneous you will be able to get the diamond spade at 100% rate. Now this spade is super special because as you can go ahead and see from the right click option it has a dig all scrolls. Pretty much if you go to the location of your clue scroll which I'll do in a second and then click the spade you would be able to collect all the caskets from these clue scrolls in one stack which is super sick actually i just went ahead and did that straight away so this will help out with any clue grind whatsoever if you stack up quite a few of those and then go ahead and open them up with one click and there you go you have all your caskets in one go now if you come to Colon Colon Train you will actually find this leaderboard which is really sick because they just updated this as well. On here you will actually find your daily rank, monthly rank or all time rank of certain categories. For example most NPC kills. As you can see I'm rank 82 right now with a score of 22. We have Blood Pack sitting on rank 1 with over 2.3k kill counts. Now you can also check out the most Slayer tasks completed so far. Uh, Alex today only has 170, uh, 71 uh, tasks completed this is daily as well which is absolutely insane and of course most time played as well as you can see right here Marik Miner has over eight hours almost nine hours logged in today which is super sick now you also have monthly and of course all time that you would be able to check out so with the most player task most NPC kills you would see that Ghost is rank one with 21,000 NPC kills at the moment and I would be ranked 273 which is quite low so another thing that I would like to showcase is a new global boss which is the AFK boss. As you can see every 100,000 AFK tickets collectively collected over the server the AFK world boss will spawn. As you can see this will go by quite quickly. It will take about an hour I would say to complete 100,000 of these AFK tickets and by that time the AFK boss will spawn at this zone which of course is the zone that any global boss would be able to spawn. 
So let's go ahead and wait out for another 600 tickets, which shouldn't take too long at all. And whenever this is done, I'll be able to showcase the brand new balls, go ahead and attack it, and also hopefully showcase some of the drops that it will have and maybe get one of the rare drops myself. 200 tickets left to go, it should be here in just a second. Um, I'm also riding my Emperor Dragon to do this fight, so the boss should have spawned. Um, oh, actually it will spawn in 3 minutes. So as you can see the golden AFK jar has just spawned which is of course the AFK boss it does have 200 million HP in total which is quite a lot and therefore of course you do have a lot of people who will be going ahead and attacking this boss. Anyways let's go ahead and check out the drop table real quick if I can go ahead and go off this and then check out the drop table like this. As you can see it will drop himself so million dollar scrolls, 10 million dollar scrolls and so on. Now of course as always I would highly recommend joining discord so you can check out these sneak peeks for example right now they are already working on a brand new perk system as you can see right here which will be added in a update very soon to come now on top of that i would also highly uh, also highly recommend checking out the update section on the discord as well because in here you'll find some additional updates that i don't cover in the video as well as the weekly updates that they are doing as you can see right here they have so many updates going on every single week which is absolutely amazing so if you join discord and you check all of those you won't be missing out on anything Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway. I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.